Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the fast color effect, and I'm going to show you a way to make it actually much more useful. Here we go. With the clip selected, you can apply the fast color effect. You can always find it by typing the word fast into the effects panel, and it will quickly pop up, and then we could drag it onto a clip. Now, you'll see it appear in the effect controls, and we'll twirl that down. The fast color effect has lots of options for fixing color. I'm going to show you how to use it fast. Let's just make a little more room here by dragging this so we have better control over the wheel. I'm going to take the white balance eyedropper and click on something that should be white. You see what it did there is, is it pushed it a little bit towards blue to compensate for the fact that the shot was a little bit warm. That's because when we shot this piece of footage, it was outdoors on a bright sunny day and it was definitely a warm glow. By adding a little bit of blue to the scene, we sort of color balance it and push the whites back to a pure white. I'll go ahead and scroll down here and you see that we can actually adjust the magnitude and the farther you go, the bluer it gets. So let's just hit undo and back that off. But I will put a little bit of gain on that until we find the right setting. That looks pretty good. A little more saturation. And then we could do auto contrast. Now it does a pretty good job and automatically fix things with the image here. We can go ahead and manually make adjustments here. I'll just put a little bit opening in the middle and pull the black input slider in to make the blacks nice and crisp. That looks pretty good. Sometimes that auto contrast will work well, but in the particular case here, the shot was pretty much right, but we wanted to go ahead and adjust it anyways just to tweak the black point. That's looking pretty good, but at this point, I might be second guessing myself. And fortunately, the fast color effect makes it easy to check your work. At the top up here, you'll see the ability to do a split view. And you could choose horizontal or vertical. By dragging through, you could quickly see a before and after, which makes it easy to tell what you've done. In this particular case, we've definitely cooled down the scene, getting rid of that sort of reddish brownish undertone and really brought out the blues and the greens while still preserving the skin tones so it looked natural. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Video Adrenaline. My name is Rich Harrington. Head on over to creativecow.net where you'll find forums, a magazine, and tons of more videos and tutorials worth checking out. Thanks again.